Good morning, good afternoon. I uh, hope you're well, church, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And uh, I am Lindsay Deville, and I'm South Location Pastor with my husband, Matt. And um, you get me today for today's devotion. And um, so let's just jump right in. I need to apologize, we've got builders in. And um, I hopefully they don't they pop up everywhere. So hopefully you don't pop up on screen or hear them. But um, I am going to talk to you from Proverbs twenty seven verse nine, the translate um, Passion Translation, and um, I'm going to chat to you today about my journey of with friendships, and uh, hopefully encourage you um, in your friendships too. But um, let's read the Word of God, and it's twenty seven Proverbs twenty seven verse nine. It says, sweet friendships refresh the soul and awaken our hearts with joy. For good friends are like the anointing oil that yields the fragrant incense of God's presence. Uh, I don't know if that, um, if you have friends like that, that, that are sweet friends that awaken your heart with joy. Um, but I definitely didn't have those kind of friendships for about 20 years. So I grew up in a Church of England church and in that time in school and in church and college, I didn't particularly have, um, had one in college, but I, other than that, I didn't have good Christian friendships. And so it was something that I prayed for and something that I asked God for. And now 20 years on, I feel like I am spoilt with incredible, incredible friends. And these are friends where we have journeyed together through grief, through loss, through laughter, through miracles, through different cities, different nations. And uh, each one of my friends brings something unique to my life. And uh, I have chosen two friends that I want to talk to you about today. And um, they walk through, uh, in particular, difficult uh, season in my life. And in fact, it was hard probably for all of us, but it, for me, it was a, it was one of the hardest um, seasons I've ever been in, and um, and the the two friends are uh, Carly and Heather, and they are both now in Sheffield. Carly and Josh are heading up our, our Sheffield campus, and uh, we all had kids together. So we've got four boys and two girls between us, and um, two each, and we all had our kids at the same time. So we became parents together, you know, first time moms, and then. Um, second time moms at the same time and um, however my kids are both adopted and um, we had our first one when he was 12 weeks old absolute miracle beautiful um, so we did foster to adopt and we had him and um, it was great and then we got a little bit of a surprise his sibling came along uh, just 10 months later and um, after we had adopted him and adopted him and, uh, and so she was a, a miracle, but a little bit of a surprise. So we've been married 15 years and suddenly within 20 months, we had two adopted children. So it was a massive, massive change emotionally um, for us. And um, and after the second child um, came along, I really, really struggled. So the first one was, you know, difficult, but the second one um, really threw me. and. Um, I ended up having a thing called post-adoption depression, which is something that they talked about when they did the training for adoption. And um, I'd never had depression, never experienced anything particularly like that. And um, it was scary. I felt very alone and um, did all the right things, went to the GP, you know, spoke to the right people. But I had these two friends who came in. It, God just kept, they came in at the right time. And um, we would be in crash on a Sunday together and we made a decision that we would meet every Tuesday with our kids and we would chat and we would just be together. The kids would play and we would try and have a conversation with six kids under three, I think it was. And um, we, our conversations were always raw, they were always real, they were honest you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but they were always tin, tinged with um, hope and love and faith and future. And um, those two friends um, brought just the, the joy. They were my sweet friends that just brought, you know, they awakened my heart with joy that the, the proverb says. And um, they are now like two, two young sisters to me. And uh, we're in different cities and our kids are growing up together. Um, but my question is for you today is, who are your sweet friends who awaken 
uh, your heart with joy and they are like the anointing oil. And if you know who they are, brilliant. And I wanna encourage you today to tell them what they mean to you. Just give them a, drop them a line, drop them a message, give them a call and just say, I just wanna let you know, this is what you mean to me. And for those that you feel lonely and you feel like you just don't have those, those friends um, right now, well, I believe that God wants to give you those friends, that you're not exempt from having friendships like uh, the ones that I've talked to you about today. And so I want you to do four things. And uh, the first one is to pray, just as I did 20 years ago, is to pray about the right friends, um, that God will bring the right friends into your world. And the two, the second thing is make sure you're in a small group in church, because that's where life-giving friendships are. That's where you're going to get your encouragement from, you're going to get your support, you're going to get your love and those life-giving friendships and relationships that are built in our small groups. Number three is maybe just ask someone out for coffee, you know, ask them, hey, do you want to meet up? We've all got space for another friend. We've all got space to love another person in our lives. And so why don't you just step out and ask someone, would you, would you like to hang out and maybe just have a coffee one evening? Um, and the fourth thing is, join a team on a Sunday because that is an incredible, um, inc incredible, incredible time just to meet new friends and to do church together on a Sunday. It's fun. You're serving together. You're doing the same thing. And um, it's just a great way to get to know new people. So I want you to encourage you to do all of those four things. And, um, and I pray that you'll have an incredible week, that new people will come into your world who will be your friends and will be the support that you need right now. So I declare that over your life. I declare that into your life that um, God is going to bless you with incredible um, life-giving friends who are those sweet friends that will awaken your heart with joy. And uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, church. See you soon.